Good morning, guys. I have literally just stepped out of the shower. I'm about to put this little headband on. My cute little bow on top of my head. And I'm just getting ready to start like doing my skincare and getting ready for the day. I am so excited for today because I'm getting my hair done. First thing I always do in the morning for my skincare is my gua sha. I live, breathe, die by my gua sha. It has literally changed my face. I can't even express enough to you guys. I've made a TikTok about it as well as I have a highlight on my Instagram talking about my before and afters, how long I used it for to see results and um, how I do it and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm not gonna get too much into it like on YouTube um, unless you guys want like me to take some more time to like dedicate some time to it, I will. But anyways, what I've been doing lately is so what I do always is use it with an oil, but I like to use it in the morning to depuff my face. So I'll put an oil on my face, do my gua sha, and then wash my face after. But what I've actually been using is a cleansing oil. I've been using the Dermalogica pre-cleanse because that is just what I have on hand. Because you do need your face to be super, super slick when using the gua sha. And in the morning, I just don't like to have that much moisturizer on because it's, you know, I don't want to be a grease ball all day. Even though I have dry skin, like I don't want to be a grease ball all day, you know? So anyways, I'm in a really good mood right now and I'm feeling really good because number one, yesterday, I'm very blessed to say that I am a person that doesn't typically get cramps. Um, I, you know, don't know why, genetics, whatever the heck, like, I just really lucked out in that department. Like, not like I never have discomfort, like not that every month is just like a breeze and rainbows and sunshines, but I don't have like intense cramps. But yesterday, I did. And let me tell you, I feel so hard for girls that get cramps really bad every month because I was like literally thinking back on my life, like surgeries I've had, times I've hurt myself. Like I'm going back and thinking on like everything in my life and I'm like, I actually think yesterday was like the most pain I've ever been in my life. Like it was actually crazy. So I just feel so happy to feel better today. I don't feel, you know, amazing because, you know, it's still that time of the month for me, but anything, like the, the anything feels better than yesterday, you know? So it just is like so nice to, you know, not feel like I want to die. I'm, I'm so thankful right now to not be like keeled over and like screaming and crying. Cause that's literally how it was yesterday. It was so miserable. So anyways, <laughs> I have a pretty set like morning routine that I do every day. And so today was a little bit different because my hair appointment is at 10 a.m. And you know, I wanna just like, I always like to look good when I go to hair appointments. Um, not that like I care, but I used to always kind of like go looking like a bum to hair appointments because I'm like, oh, I'm just getting my hair done. Like I'm just chilling, whatever. But it's kind of sometimes hard to tell if you like your hair, if you don't, you know, maybe like the way you look as much. Like I feel like it's so much more helpful to see yourself just like kind of how you would if you were gonna normally like get ready and like feel like, you know, on a level that's like good about yourself. I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but like, I'm like, I literally don't care like what the people see me and like think of me or like what I look like. It's literally just that like, it's so hard to tell how much you like your hair when I have like no makeup on and I'm in like sweatpants and stuff like that. So I wanted to just get ready today and I think I might throw on a little bit of self tanner too just so we can like really take it to the next level of like feeling nice and good and pretty for my hair appointment. Okay, I am on my way to the hair salon now and I kind of just like stopped recording because I was just in a rush and I just like, okay, I need to hurry up. Oh my God, stay in your lane, bro. Sorry, I always try to film at a better angle when I'm in my car, but like I literally have nowhere to put my camera that it will stay while my car is in motion. So I wanted to tell you guys what I wanted, what I'm doing to my hair before I go. Um, so if you didn't know, like back in October, I did cut my hair pretty short like I cut a lot off of my hair and ever since then I've been trying to like kind of get it to grow back faster just because it's in 
kind of an awkward length. Whenever I'm kind of like mad at my hair, sick of my hair, I look back at photos of my hair to see like, okay, what did I like about my hair before? And you know, because I'm a brunette and I love being a brunette, I often will just like keep my hair dark, you know, and just kind of like don't ever lighten it. But it kind of, I think I just don't realize how bored I get of when it's just like all one solid color. And because I cut my hair and I basically cut off any balayage I had in my hair, it's just all my natural color at this point. Um, and I think I just genuinely prefer my hair with a little bit of dimension in it. And also when I cut my hair, it was more of like a bob, like everything was the same length. I think because of that, it's again just like boring because it's all just like one length and it makes it a lot harder to like style and have it look nice and have everything lay really nicely so i realized that maybe my problem is not that my hair is short it's just that like is just like boring me because of the like cut in the color so i am going to be getting some balayage and just some layers in my hair i'm not cutting cutting anything off the length because i would like it to be a little bit longer i think still um so yeah i'm pulling up to the hair salon now i'm a couple minutes late so gotta run but i'll uh, show you guys what i've done i'm so excited hi I'm back home now. <laughs> um, today is just kind of been like super hectic, but this is, let me go to the window. I'm gonna go to the window so you can see my hair really well. Uh, for some reason, my hair just like didn't wanna hold a curl today, but yeah, we still got like, you know, a good dark root, very dimensional balayage, um, a little bit brighter around the face, I haven't even like looked at the back, but um, I like to have it like very rooty because I don't like to get my hair done very often and I like when it grows out and it kind of like, you know, it like gets darker over time because it like grows out and then there's like more dark hair, whatever. Um, and just like a lot more layers and some little curtain bangs. Um, I tried to like come home and fix my curtain bangs and like I put a roller in them but I need to like curl them because they're just kind of like it gave me more like volume right there but I needed to be like flipped out more but I just kind of don't care right now because I'm starving and I literally came home and like instantly threw on sweatpants and stuff I just I think because I'm so hungry I got like very uncomfortable very quickly but I've kind of been home I've been home for maybe about an hour because I was on the phone with my friend. I had to book some flights for a bachelorette trip later this year for one of my friends. So um, I did that and I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to get into anything else right now because I'm so hungry. So I have to find something to eat. My kitchen is a disaster. Yeah, yesterday I just had a very hard day. Like I am still, I feel like mentally recovering from the pain I was in yesterday. I feel like it was so traumatic, honestly. Like, not to be dramatic, but like, the girls that get it, get it. Um, I think I'm just gonna make a sandwich. I've been making so many sandwiches lately, um, but they're just so easy. <laughs> and I just get sourdough bread from Whole Foods and I literally just put on like turkey. Um, I think I'm gonna do mayo today because I'm out of the other stuff that I was using. So just mayo and tomato, onion, and yeah, I just keep it super, super simple. The thing that's like driving me the most crazy right now is that I, my house is just such a mess, um, especially in the kitchen. Um, over the weekend, you know, we did like our normal grocery shopping and then we had lunch with my parents on sunday because they are going to florida for a month and so we like had lunch with my grandma whatever my mom got and stuff from a restaurant so then we had a bunch of like leftovers from that and then because my parents were leaving for a month my pets are playing if you hear a ruckus um which is making me really happy because i feel like they don't play that much anymore so that's really exciting for me but they went to florida yesterday or like left to start their drive down 
and they just like gave me a bunch of stuff in their house because they're gone for a month it's like every food like everything they have in their house like all their food that they still had they just like gave to us because um obviously they're gonna be gone a really long time and it's not gonna last that long so we just like have so much food and that's why my kitchen's such a mess because i literally aside from like the fact that i was in like a ton of pain yesterday and like didn't do any dishes i just have like a big pile of like food that they gave us and i have to like make room for it eat lunch so i have like some energy in me and that way i can yeah just like take care oh yeah and i ran the dishwasher this morning i forgot so i have to put that away and do all the dishes whatever whatever things i'm trying to hide in the back of the frame and i'm not succeeding at just like ignore it like don't judge me <laughs> i just pushed down the toaster and like a huge chunk of my nail came off i do have dip on my nails right now which i don't normally get dip because it doesn't like last but oh my gosh my nails are like a whole other story right now I'm throwing my hair up so I can eat. I'm like wondering if my bangs are gonna stay up. I guess we will see. But I am just going to eat my lunch. I have my sandwich and I'm going to have a grapefruit because I'm obsessed with grapefruit. Yeah, I've been like doing this almost every day for lunch where I have a sandwich and then like some fruit after. It's been either like a grapefruit or some other sort of citrus, whatever I have on hand and I love it. I'm going to sit on the couch while I eat. Um, this is what I always do when I eat lunch. And I'm going to have, um, I'm going to watch Inventing Anna is what I've been watching. And I don't know if you guys, I just can't take her accent seriously and I find her just like so annoying. Um, I feel bad saying that, but it's just how I feel and I just feel like I can't take it seriously, you know? And I don't love the show. I'm not like obsessed, but I kind of want to like obviously see how it ends and what happens in this color on my face. It's just hilarious. Um, but that way when I have it on, like the episodes are long, but like after I'm done eating, I'm just going to clean the kitchen. And that's like the beauty of my house setup is that like kitchen's right there. My TV's right there, so I can just like watch TV while I um, do the dishes and stuff, and it motivates me to do that, so that's what I'm gonna kind of do. Good morning. I literally just slammed down some coffee. And I'm going to get ready to work out. So yesterday I didn't work out because of my hair appointment. Um, we did actually end up going for a walk last night, um, just a quick one. It was nicer outside. It was like 45 degrees and we're like, ooh, it's so warm. It is like, what time is it? 7, 18 right now. And I feel like anytime I talk about my mornings, I always say like, oh, in case you didn't know, I work out with my brother. I feel like as somebody who, what is on my sleeve? Just ignore that. It's early. Um, as somebody who, you know, shares things on social media, but also on like different platforms, sometimes I feel like, do I say the same things too much? But, you know, I'm just telling y'all what <laughs> happens in my day. I work out with my brother typically, and for a really long time, we would work out at my house in my basement but my parents recently got a tonal and so we've been going there to work out and i had told him a couple weeks ago i was like you know i really have to be a little bit more strict about giving myself a better schedule and sticking to that schedule so i was like i need to work out at 8 a.m every day because sometimes we'd be like a little bit later I would be flexible because like I technically could, you know, because the only person that's responsible for me and my schedule is me. And so because of that, I would just kind of like be too flexible sometimes with my schedule and it would just like really mess up my entire life. So um, my husband Joey and I like had a conversation one day and like started to, you know, try to place some boundaries in my life. Anyways, this isn't really... <laughs> that important as I'm like telling this whole thing but anyways ever since I said that my brother now is like 
pushing me to work out so much earlier and I'm like oh my gosh it's hard I'm not a morning person and I take like a really long time to wake up I'm having a really hard time waking up lately I didn't get out of bed to like 6 40 so for the longest time what I would do is just like before I wouldn't go and work out I would like not do anything like I wouldn't do any skincare like I wouldn't wash my face I wouldn't eat like I wouldn't do anything um it's really interesting because I don't know why, you know, I think like on the topic of me trying to set a more strict schedule for myself, I feel like my mornings, when I started to change my morning routine, like my view on my morning routine really changed and I, doing my gua sha is something that's so important to me. As I'm sure you can probably tell because like I constantly show myself doing it. I constantly talk about it But it really is such a big deal to me because it really has changed my face And there was a chunk of time recently that I was super lazy about it and I could like Really tell the difference when I wasn't using it and I was like no, I have to be better about using it. So um, But ever since I tried to be more strict with myself on my morning routine and like be more productive and all this stuff i found it just like like a really daunting task to do my gua sha i don't really know why because it really doesn't take like all that long maybe like five minutes for me to do it depending on the day so i kind of have like changed it up since i'm like leaving the house too you know before i just like walk to the basement and work out now i'm like leaving the house to work out i found that doing my gua sha right now really helps to wake me up and since i have the oil on my face now i actually just take like a cool washcloth and just kind of try to take the excess oil off with that um i don't do my skincare right now so i'm not gonna go in you know with my whole routine but i just kind of do this to get my gua sha out of the way in the morning and yeah it helps really just like wake me up get cold washcloth and all that kind of stuff feels good and then today too since i am a little bit puffy i'm gonna put on the good molecules eye patches if i ever do these i have to do it before like i do my skincare for the day like before i wash my face and all that stuff because this for whatever reason just product just balls up on my skin like crazy I can't do these after I do my skincare because I just have balls of product on my face the entire day. It's very annoying, but they work really well and I really like them. Put these on while I get dressed and all that jazz. The sunlight is going to be crazy in here. Um, I do live on woods and the sun rises behind our house and so the sun like peeks through the woods and then the lighting gets like all crazy. It's not like all consistently sunny, you know? It's like all over the place. So I, another thing I don't typically do before I work out is have a little snack. The reason that I started to do this is because I've just been like really struggling with my energy levels lately. And you know, as much as I don't want to kind of use caffeine as a way to just like push through and get by and like I would like to actually solve my problems, which I think like has a lot to do with, I don't know, just like general health stuff. I'm not really sure what the deal is. I feel like my eating could be better. Um, sleeping could be better. Actually, I've been sleeping a lot better lately. I'm so mad right now. I would have like bet my life on the fact that we had peanut butter and we don't. So I have to have almond butter, which whatever. Every time I would have an afternoon coffee, like I would have good energy throughout the morning and then it'd be like around noon and I would just like crash. So I would have like, try to have some lunch and like try to have a coffee and it wouldn't help. And I kind of decided to retry having some Celsius in my life. I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but like different types of caffeine just like really hit different, you know? I don't wanna have that much caffeine that early in the morning without something to eat. So I've been having a snack. I don't typically have this particular one but I just am today because, I don't know, I figured I'd switch it up. My almond butter is like stuck in my mouth. I have too much stuff in my hands. I have my almond butter all over the paper doll. I was holding it in because I had too many hands, I mean too many stuff, too much stuff in my hands and I couldn't carry it and I ended up squeezing the paper towel. 
but I'm not like I don't want to chug this whole Celsius before I go work out kind of just like sip it throughout the morning so I just get like a little extra boost before I work out I'm not a huge fan of stuff like that I don't really think it's good for you <laughs> but you know if it's getting me by for now I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the stickiest almond butter I've ever had in my life like what the heck I feel like I can't even move my mouth I feel like I can't chew it or swallow it it just stuck honestly like every single morning this is what my counter looks like this is like all the stuff that I take every single day it's kind of ridiculous I got ready today I did my hair and my makeup I was so excited about doing my hair so I wanted to get all ready I'm out of breath from running up the stairs but I got a package from Revolve a couple days ago that I haven't oops that I haven't shared with you guys yet and I only got a couple things from Revolve and honestly I just feel like I had a realization in the past couple months and I just feel like this is going to be the year that I buy higher quality clothing and buy more like staple pieces to rewear and, and I've just been somebody who's so like super trendy fast fashion all the time and I tend not to wear those clothes that much because they're not always like good to wear to stuff and then like I never rewear them and I just like have so many clothes that I don't need and that I need to get rid of. Um, I am trying to do like more closet sales on my Instagram if you guys are ever curious in purchasing any of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. I do get a, I do have like a lot of good stuff to get rid of too, but I just, I think I just like more simple clothing and I just need to realize that like the outfit I have on right now, I just feel like this is going to be like what I freaking wear all the time. So the first thing I picked up was this bodysuit. This is from Free People. And guys, the back is kind of everything. And the best part about it is that I don't need to wear a bra with it. Like it's supportive enough. Like I'm clearly like a bigger chested girl and I typically have to wear bras with stuff. But this, ooh, and these jeans, I'm obsessed with. These are the dad jeans from Levi's. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the length of these. They are more of like an ankle length and I'm like 5'4", so I'm pretty short, average to short. Um, but they're not super long, but the fit of these are amazing. They actually, um, my battery died <laughs> and I forgot where I was while I was waiting for it to charge. So I just want to say that, um, if I am kind of ended off on a weird note, that's why I'm just going to talk about the jeans because these are my favorite things. Well, I, I think this whole outfit is like my favorite thing in the entire world right now. I just wish it was warm enough to wear it, but these jeans are the Levi dad jeans. They're super hyped up and honestly guys, they're worth the hype. I'm sorry, but they are. I got mine in a size 29 and I just love them. I still have like plenty of room to like eat and all that kind of good stuff. Honestly, I could have gone probably down to a 28, um, but I like them big. I don't know. So I love these. These are my new favorite jeans. I can't stop wearing them. And yeah, once it's warm enough, like I just would literally wear this with like some slides and I would wear this every day, everywhere. Like, I just feel like this is going to be like my go-to outfit when it's warm outside. The last thing I got are these Levi's shorts. These are the 501s. These like don't fit great. I'm not gonna try them on. I did try them on on a TikTok if you wanna see them on me, but I just don't feel like taking off these jeans again. They're a little bit big in the waist and a little bit tight in the hips. So I might repurchase them in a bigger size. These are in a size 30. So I already did size up for these, but I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking I might do that, but I also just might try to find another pair of jean shorts. It's like my goal this year to find jean shorts that actually like fit me. I haven't had a pair of jean shorts that I've liked since probably like middle school or high school. Like I just can't, and I feel like so many people have this problem with jean shorts. So it's like my goal to find good jean shorts that I can wear all the time because I'm such like a jeans girl, but then when it's hot outside, I don't know what to do and I end up just still wearing jeans and just being really hot because I don't know what to wear. Mm -hmm. 